It started with screens. Screens became second screens. Second screens became augmented glasses. Augmented glasses became augmented headsets. And augmented headsets became augmented lifestyles. And bit by bit our reality changed until we lost who we were. Then the Mantarian slavers came. Lethargic humans made for easy pickings. They attacked the outer colonies first, taking people to sail on the planet Tarsus. The Tarsians found humans to be flabby and weak. The only part worth keeping were their minds. Not wanting to lose out on easy money, the Mantarian slavers duly obliged. Their augmented lifestyles have already done half the job for us, they said. They said the human emotional response to a robot may become increasingly positive and empathic. And so they cut our brains out and put us in bodies that weren't flabby. Bodies that weren't weak. Brain bots fetch a handsome price on Tarsus. They fetch an even higher price on Neldor, the only Tarsus city not to have a spaceport. Dust storms make it too dangerous to land there. Imported goods are worth a fortune. The slavers don't understand why people would settle there, but they do understand profit. We are crossing the desert to Neldor, a journey the slavers only refer to as the March. The first versions of the brain bots were able to speak, but the Tarsans soon tired of their moaning, so the slavers replaced vocal units with something that sounds nicer. If I could talk, I would tell them that they were making a terrible mistake. But I can't. I can only sing. I don't think they would care anyway. They are the slavers. The night brings no sleep to us. We don't need to rest anymore. I wonder if the slavers wish they had metal lamps. Lamps that didn't tire. Ah, reverie. The state that brain bots always want most. The augmented reality they crave. Anything to forget the decay in their fortunes. You'd almost think that they are enjoying it. But not for me. I want something real. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Day two of the march. A problem is developed with T-476. T designation means she's a girl. I wonder what she was like. Would her and I have been friends? It doesn't matter anymore. For all the circuits, power cells, and metal, there's one thing that the slavers can't repair. T-476 is finally free. Being a human is not about existing in fingers or toes, arms and legs, or even breathing. It's the ability to choose to live and to die. I think, therefore, I am.